This movie is adapted from the 2018 short film from the same writer-director. Despite its effort to merge two genres, coming of age and horror, the horror behind the film is diluted in favor of an underdeveloped coming of age narrative. It's ultimately far more of a restrained and slow burn investigative thriller than the crazy splatter fest horror fans might be hoping for. The first act is decent as the movie starts off with a darkly comedic tone. Unfortunately, it feels forcefully bloated in the second act. The third act is a bit better. Unfortunately, these sections do not quite fit together, making the story feels incohesive. As a whole, this movie feels like a run-of-the-mill B-movie thriller. It's really lacking nuance and emotional depth. The movie doesn't seem interested in exploring the issue of bullying or getting beneath the surface of its characters. Sarah's rage is justified, but what she does with her rage is not which makes her someone who's hard to root for. How she ended up snapping and crossing immoral boundaries remains underexplored. It's too bad that the movie doesn't seem interested to get to know what Sarah is thinking and feeling so that the audience understands what's going on inside of her on a psychological and emotional level. In addition to certain supporting characters being left in the dark, there's lack of explanation behind the mysterious stranger. Richard Holmes is appropriately menacing as the stranger, but the character is never really explored. It feels like there's room to draw more parallels between him and Sarah to explain his fascination and companionship with her. Sarah's feelings towards him are left undisclosed and it mostly comes across as awkward because it's so half-cooked. The middle section of the movie really drags, leading to moments of impatience with the plot. The story gets increasingly bogged down in tedious excursions such as Sarah attempting to track down her phone. Even as both the bodies and Sarah's guilt begin to mount up, the true line feels exceedingly padded out with subplots and characters who do not much move the plot. The suspense sequences are fairly middling in their familiarity, unaided by the fact that our villain is about as typical a stalker as they come, largely lacking in any characterization that might make him of greater interest. The plot is also close to running out of steam towards the end when it just has nowhere to go. The pacing is off, which takes too long to reach the ending that can be seen from a mile away. Overall, despite quite good first act, this movie eventually stumbles. The film as a whole could have been more cohesive and tighter. We do not recommend to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.